What's poppin' gamers? It is me, Leon, with a brand new seven quick tips video. Today, we're gonna be doing a slightly different kind of topic. Instead of talking about a theme like Wild West, Cottagecore, or Steampunk, or making a specific type of build like trees or pyramids, we're gonna be talking about a building technique. And not just any building technique, the most important building technique to go from this to this in Minecraft. And that's right, we're talking about depth and how to take advantage of this concept to make amazingly detailed builds. But this time around, instead of giving you tips about depth, I'm gonna be answering seven common questions about it. Enough talk, let's get right into, um, seven common questions about adding depth to your Minecraft builds. One, what even is depth? In my opinion, depth is a measure of the amount of layers a Minecraft build has. That probably makes no sense, so let's take a look at an example. Here's a basic, generic, 2012 style wood house. Now let's look at it from the side. Okay, here's the side of it. Now let's put a line wherever there's a flat vertical surface that's perpendicular to the ground. As you can see, we don't have very many. This build has very little depth. Let's do the same thing for the side of my steampunk submarine that I built a couple weeks ago. Check out all these different lines we can draw. Each one is at a different depth level. This causes the build to not only look more detailed, but fleshed out, three-dimensional, and even more realistic. The next time you see a Minecraft build, take a look at its depth. You'll quickly start to notice that the builds with more depth generally look way cooler. Two. Okay, that's cool. Which blocks have depth and which don't? I'm glad you asked. Technically, every block is 3D, which means they all have depth, but the better answer to this question would be to talk about the more irregular blocks. Stairs and slabs are the first thing that comes to mind. They have the same texture as a full block, but each of them are missing some portion of it. A stair, for example, has two layers of depth, here and here. A slab only has one layer, but it allows you to see the block behind it, giving you a whole new layer where there wouldn't be one otherwise. This same logic applies to all sorts of blocks that take up less space than a full block, such as... <sighs> Trapdoors, fences, gates, chains, glass panes, walls, lanterns, anvils, flowers, azalea bushes, carpets, lecterns, buttons, and many, many, many more. 3. Should I only be using these blocks? Excellent question. What I don't want to have happen is for you to hear this and think, well, guess I'm never using full blocks ever again. Because not only is that a bad idea, but it's virtually impossible. All those decor blocks I mentioned just now are great for detail, but you still need to use your full blocks too. Remember, Minecraft is a 3D game. If you stagger your full blocks so that they're shifted forward or behind from one another, then congrats, you've added some big depth with just full blocks. Detail blocks are great, but slapping a ton of detail blocks onto a flat surface is not gonna look good. You've gotta vary the placement of your full blocks to create depth within them as well. My best advice is to wireframe out your build using something like concrete or dirt to create the basic shape, then go in and fill it out with full blocks. It's okay if it looks like crap right now because you're gonna go in and add all of your details. Your stairs, walls, slabs, texturization, and all those beautiful things are gonna turn your build from a weird hunk into something amazing. 4. What if I want to use many different kinds of textures? No problem! Mixing up different textures in unique ways is, in some aspects, another way of adding depth. Let us take a look at a couple examples. Here I have two block combinations, glass and iron, and stone bricks and stone. You'll notice that these are entirely made of full blocks and that they're just flat walls. So, what gives? If you look closely at the textures, you'll see that their design creates the illusion of depth. Look how the iron blocks seem to jut out from the glass, and the stone bricks bolt out from the flat stone sections. This wouldn't be possible with just one kind of texture. This is also why so many players just spam stone bricks in their builds. It's an easy block to make huge amounts of in survival and these rounded bits give the illusion of tiny bits of depth, automatically making your builds look a little bit better. Please don't actually go build entirely with stone bricks because that look is very overdone by this point, but you see where I'm going with this. 5. Do some building styles have more depth than others? 
Definitely. While of course there's no such thing as a better build style or a worse build style, it's all subjective and depends on what you enjoy the most, I think it's safe to say that some builds inherently have more depth than others. For example, a sleek modern house is mostly built out of smooth blocks like concrete, terracotta, and stripped wood. Then compare this to my Wild West saloon from last week's video. You can clearly see that the modern house has objectively less depth and variance of texture than the Wild West built, and that's okay. Depth is not the only tool in your building toolbox. It's an important one, sure, but modern and futuristic builds can look amazing without much depth or texture at all. Don't let some sort of fixation over depth determine what kind of build you create. If you want to build modern, then go for it. It is really fun. 6. Every time I play Minecraft, I build the same way. And apparently, this doesn't have much depth. How do I fix that? Get out of your comfort zone. If you're still building with oak wood, stone, and regular plain glass, then you need to get yourself out of 2012 and start enjoying the tons of new things in this game. One of my favorite ways to do this is to pick out a theme or an aesthetic before I even make my Minecraft world. Think about some movie, game, book, or show that you really enjoy and use that as inspiration in your build. Or get inspired by the real world. There's so many cool places out there with their unique architectures, cultures, and whatnot that you can draw endless inspiration from. I've actually talked a bit more about this in my very first 7 Quick Tips video on Mega Builds. If you can bear listening to my old mic and me having absolutely no idea what I was doing, then check it out. The advice is still pretty great, despite the questionable production quality. 7. My build still looks bad. What do I do? <laughs> Practice. A lot. I know this is kind of a dumb cop-out answer, but it's genuinely the best piece of advice that I can give. You can watch all the tutorial videos and build hacks that you want, but it's not going to be the same as hands-on practice and repetition. Once you have the fundamental knowledge needed to make great builds, like knowing what depth is, it's really all about trying things on your own. Don't be afraid to make something that looks bad, because we've all been there. Alrighty fellas, I hope all you lovely people enjoyed these building tips. Thank you for watching to the end, I really appreciated it. If you enjoyed, please like the video and hit that subscribe button so I get more of that delicious YouTube clout. And follow me on TikTok if you're not already. Until next time, have a wonderful day my dudes, and check back next week for more 7 Quick Tips. Peace.